Hi everyone! Today we're gonna upcycle an old dress I have lying around way too long. I thrifted this dress some years ago and it's so pretty but in a washing machine it sort of shrunk so it's way too short for me now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off the bottom part and we're gonna make it into some very dramatic sleeves and we're gonna make it top. Very excited, let's get started. So we're starting with cutting off the bottom part. I measured how long I want the top to be. So now I'm just carefully cutting off the part that I will need. This fabric is just, it's so pretty. Yeah, I think it's gonna look so good. It's gonna look so nice. Yay! A short top in the making. So I will not be needing the whole bottom part that I cut off. We're gonna use this part. The bottom part is what we're gonna use for the sleeves. Voila! I cut the part that I need. So now we're just gonna measure and divide it into four equal pieces, uh, two per sleeve. I think we live in a society where it's so normal to just buy new stuff all the time. Wow, we already have so much stuff. So from time to time, I think it's good to just check what you already have and get creative. Um, yeah. We got all the parts we need. We have four sleeve parts and we're gonna attach the two parts together. And once we have that, we're gonna attach it to the sleeve from the top. Yeah, so first we're gonna, so now we're gonna attach the two sleeve parts, just gonna pin it into place. And we're gonna sew a straight stitch. I'm just gonna use a wide thread. Um, I don't think you will really notice it and it's gonna look pretty. Don't forget to do a back stitch at the beginning and also at the end um, this way um, the thread won't come loose so never forget to do the back stitch beginning and at the end and everything will stay into place i just from time to time i just love going to my like through my thrifted clothes and seeing what I don't really wear and just do an upcycle and get creative and paint it or remake it or reuse it in a way that I will wear it um, just like with this dress here you can see how nice it looks, very pretty. And now all we have to do is attach the sides of the sleeves. So we have like a round sleeve and we're, I put the sleeve inside out, do a straight stitch along the side and then we have we have a sleeve, my friends. And they will look like this. And now for them, before we're gonna attach them to the top, we have to gather them a bit because they're too big now. We're gonna change the settings. The 3.5 is like the width of the stitch. This is the length of the stitch. And we're gonna turn the length of the stitch up. And this means the thread will be a bit more loose 
and we will will be able to pull the thread and this will give a gathered effect and I measured how um, how long the sleeve is on the top itself so I know how much I need to pull it in very important do not do a back stitch and we're just I'm just gonna sew all around the sleeve without doing the back stitch I will be able to pull this and I am so sorry for my disgusting thumbs I had my I had them tattooed so this is like some sort of second skin gross thingies I'm so sorry it's gross oh well okay so as you can see I'm able to pull the thread now because I didn't do the back stitch and the length between each stitch is very long so it's kind of loose and now I'm just gonna pull it I'm gonna pull it and divide everything even evenly and make sure it will be the same size as the top all we have to do now is attach the top part to the sleeve um, the top and the sleeve are both inside out here and I just need to pin everything nicely into place so I will be able to stitch it all together and we are so close to having our final final top I'm so excited and we're gonna sew around um, looking back I wondered if there would have been an easier way to do this I don't know but I did it this way oh don't forget to put the I sometimes forget to put the settings back to normal <laughs> so if you do something like this don't forget to put your settings back to normal because you want to you want your thread to be normal and not loose and I'm gonna do a backstitch at the beginning and at the end again and I'm gonna sew all around the sleeve to attach the two so I'm very focused sewing this <laughs> while wearing my like bathrobe my purple thrifted <laughs> bathrobe very classy and I was too excited to wait to finish the whole thing so this is me wearing the top with one sleeve done so excited I think it looks so pretty so cool big big sleeves I can't believe it <laughs> let's see the final result the finished top this was the dress way too short so cute but I never wore it anymore and this is the top now I think it looks so cute I couldn't be happier the sleeves are amazing it's just so pretty I can't believe it this is how I will style it Put like a little denim vest on it I think this upcycle succeeded very nicely thank you so much for watching see you next time Mwah!